Good morning and welcome to the 2020 World FTD Marathon. My name's Tracy Wardle. As Chair of World FTD United, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all and to kick off the first leg of the FTD Marathon, a journey which is going to take us right around the globe over the next 24 hours. World FTD United is an international group. Our mission is to connect organisations and health professionals who provide support to those affected by frontotemporal dementia. An important goal for World FTD United is to raise awareness of the disease. So since 2016, we have organised World FTD Awareness Week. We decided that 2020 warranted something special. We've all faced particular challenges as the world has tried to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. But for many of you, these have been particularly difficult times. Caring for someone with FTD at home in lockdown can be tough. Equally, not being able to visit your loved one in residential care can be distressing. So in response to all the challenges that have been thrown us this year, the 2020 World FTD Marathon was born. It's been absolutely wonderful to see members of the FTD community from around the globe rise to the challenge. We've had researchers, clinicians, scientists, carers, all putting up their hands to contribute to the event, to make the marathon something special and I think quite unique. The Australian leg is going to run for the next four and a half hours we're going to hear from a range of specialists, from neuropsychiatry at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and from Frontier Brain and Mind Centre at the University of Sydney. All our presenters have fabulous knowledge and experience of FTD, which they're hoping to share with you today. We're also going to be really privileged and hear from some people who have been caring for those with FTD. The Australian League will conclude at around 2.30 this afternoon, but the marathon won't be over. When it is 10 a.m. Central European time, which is 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, the European and UK League will begin. It will run for six hours, at which time the North, South and Central American League will take over. We really hope that you will join us during this journey, that you will enjoy Tune in to as many presentations as you can manage. It's not too late to register for the other two legs. Just go to World FTD United. You'll find the links to register. You'll also find a detailed program. You can join in, you can leave us and come back. We'll still be here. We're going to do whatever we possibly can to get the technology to run as smoothly as possible. But please forgive any glitches or hiccups. Importantly, if you lose your connection to the, map, to the webinar, just log back in using your original link. Now, Professor Olivia Piquet, Clinical Neuropsychologist and Director of Frontier at the University of Sydney, is going to take over as Chair for the first part of this Australian League. Olivia is also going to present our first talk, What is FTD? Before he takes over the reins, we're going to have a few words from Dr. Rosa Radamakas, President of the International Society for Frontotemporal Dementia. Good morning. My name is Rosa Radamakers. I'm the current President of the International Society for Frontotemporal Dementia. And it's also my pleasure to welcome you to this uh, event, um, which is really meant to raise awareness of frontotemporal dementia. And I was so excited to hear from Tracy that there was such an excitement and overwhelming enthusiasm for people to participate in this event. Um, I think it shows that frontotemporal dementia is an important disease that affects a lot of families and um, it really shows that it deserves our attention. Um, ISFTD, for those of you who don't know us, we're a scientific organization that was founded in 2011. And um, it is our aim to bring together researchers from various disciplines and backgrounds um, to share our knowledge on FTD and to fight uh, this disease together. Um, we organize a number of things, including a biannual meeting. Unfortunately, our in-person meeting, which was meant to be held later this month, had to be canceled. Uh, but we're now gonna have a virtual meeting that's going to take place March 4th and 5th of 2021. 
and uh, we hope to also meet in person again in the fall of 2022 in, uh, in France. Another thing that our society just did was um, editing a book. It's going to be the first book from the society and it's going to um, be published by Springer in the beginning of November. Um, it's written by experts in the fields and it really is a sort of a, a summary of the current state of our fields and also a collective vision towards the future um, and where we think that um, the progress is going. Um, Frontotemporal dementia is the second most common young onset form of dementia, yet it is so often overlooked and it still takes much too long for most patients to receive an accurate diagnosis. Um, it's a very difficult disease. People often have personality changes um, that happen early in the disease, which is devastating, not just for the patient, but also for their loved ones. So I think it's very important that we unite um, to fight FTD and at ISFTD we want the caregivers and the patients to know that there's an ever-growing number of really motivated scientists, including very young scientists, um, who want to learn more about um, frontotemporal dementia, who want to learn how to better diagnose patients, how to understand the mechanisms that underlie this disease and eventually want to help to develop and find treatments. So I hope you're going to see a glimpse of all this excitement that's going on in the fields in the talks later today. And, uh, and I wish you a great meeting.